T minus two hours, 48 minutes, and 39 seconds. You know what that means? It's time to go fly the TDM 850 up to the Space Coast and watch the Atlas rocket launch on its way to Mars. And I ride and I ride I ride through the city's backside I see the stars come out of the sky Yet a ride in a hollow sky You know it looks so good tonight Welcome aboard the TBM 850 here. Early morning departure. We'll start up the engine here. And the starter is on. Starter light is blinking. Ignition light is on. Watching the NG rise up. And it's going to stabilize right around 14, 15. And these fuel to low oil. There we go. We got our light off. ITT is rising. We're watching that for a hot start. NG for hung start. Looks like the ITT temped out at 7.42. Alright. Good start. information here the tower is closed still because we are taking off pretty early here this morning so we're going to treat this as an uncontrolled airfield and we will be uh, picking up our IFR in the air so we'll give the uh, marshal out there a quick flash of the taxi light and we know we're ready to go there he's telling me to go right we're cleared out of the ramp area here our taxi light back on so we're not blinding them we'll just give an announcement here Walk of traffic, TBM, we're to taxi from Signature to uh, runway 30 on Papa Echo Tango. Hope walk traffic. So if anybody else is around this area on the ground taxiing around, they know we're coming. Yeah, I'd like to welcome everybody on board. It's uh, going to be a fun flight here today. If all goes as planned, we'll get to see a rocket launch. Look out the wing out there, flight controls, freaking correct. A few weeks ago, I did give away a four-flight Sentry ADS-B receiver, and I am happy to now announce we will be giving away a Bose headset. So if you go to steve01canigo.com, you will uh, see the details on how to win that. Now that the amps came down, we'll put the AC on. So yeah, this is an IFR flight. We're going to go, well, it shows about 37 minutes up to Titusville, which is Space Coast. I go up to 16,000 feet. And we'll be uh, enjoying the Headley transition out of here. We'll take off VFR to the northwest, maintaining VFR, and then we'll pick up our IFR clearance in the air with Miami on 1945. Got the United States Coast Guard hangar to uh, the left over there. Looks like we also have Marine One in the hangar. Interesting. The helicopter. So yeah, it's still early. It's uh, currently only 6 a.m. Tower opens at 7 a.m. here. We'll look down here at four flight. We'll take a look. You can see you got one airplane out to the northwest out there, 2,100 feet. 
And that looks about it, so just keep an eye for him. We should have a good sunrise too on this flight. Put our heading plugged at tree one zero. And we're gonna climb and tank twelve hundred feet until we get that eye for our clearance. Alright, here we are coming up on rolling tree zero. Block of traffic, TBM, we're taking off a tree zero, depart northwest, don't block of traffic. I don't hear anybody on the frequency. Crossing the hold short line here. Final's clear. And down the runway's clear. So this is runway tree zero. And up here on center line. Now we're going to ease the power up to takeoff power. Prop. RPM is right at 2,000, and takeoff power is set. So temperature pressures all look good in the green. Hold another center line. Now we're looking for a rotation speed. There it is. Pull back on the yoke. Positive rate and indicating. Gear up. You're selected. And indicator. And we'll go flaps up, selected, and yaw damper on. Low block of traffic. TVN just took off a tree zero, two miles to the northwest, northwest bound. Low block of traffic. All right, that'll be our last call for that, and I'll go over to Miami and pick up our IFR. Miami, good morning, November 851 Tango Bravo. November 851 Tango Bravo, Miami. Yeah, we just took off our Opalaka. I'd like to pick up our IFR up to uh, Space Coast. November 851 Tango Bravo, Squawk 3632, IDENT. 3632, here's your IDENT, 851 Tango Bravo. Miami, morning, so we got 3632 in there. I hit the IDENT button. Now she's looking for us. We're under a class Bravo right now. That's uh, 3,000 foot. Heavy, one zero miles from Cobra, cross Cobra, 3, Shelf that we're Bayer under right now. So we would not want to go above 3,000 right now because that would be busting into Class Bravo airspace. November uh, 851 Tango Bravo, radar contact, four miles northwest of Opalaka Airport. You're clear to Tango India X-ray. The uh, radar vectors to Headley as filed. For now, fly heading, uh, fighting 330 and climb and maintain one six thousand. Clear up to Titusville, radar vectors, and Headley and S filed. Maintain tree tree zero on the heading, climb to 16,000, 851 Tango Bravo. 7 already 732 heavy, turn right. All right, so we got our clearance there. We're going to turn right to tree tree zero. And we're cleared right up to our cruise altitude of 16,000. Antilly 1964 heavy, turn right heading 360. 16,000 set up in our altitude pre selector. Alita 1726, proceed and we'll BS it, 3,000 feet a minute up. And if you look out the front, that's the Florida Everglades out there at night, and it's uh, highly recommended to be IFR rated because there's really no horizon out there. You could easily get spatial disorientation. And our airspeed is bleeding off. Once it gets back to about 140 knots, we'll go climb in IES mode. There we go, 140 knots, hit the IS button. Now the airplane's going to pitch right for 140. You also see the little IES button here on the display. In green, got it. that's what mode we're in. Anytime I push a button in the cockpit, you always want to verify the button that you pushed is doing what it's supposed to do. And we'll adjust for pressurization. Payback 901 heavy, maintain actually reduced speed to 170 on contact. For cruise altitude. TBM 1 Tango Bravo, turn right heading 020. 020, 1 Tango Bravo. Southern uh, 8732 heavy, turn right 180, descending maintain 3000. 020, set up their heading book. PS400. And we can turn the inertial separator off. We'll switch down here by my left knee. Got the light on. Flip that switch. Now we're putting more air into the engine. Cam 8190 heavy, turn right heading 360. There's two different flaps up there in the intake that are rotating direction where it redirects a lot more air into the engine. One Tango Bravo, proceed direct Headley. Direct Headley, one Tango Bravo. All right, direct Headley. So direct, enter, enter, and we'll go into nav mode. And 
And now the airplane will turn left on course, direct to Headley intersection. Wow, look at the sunrise over there. Same 8190 Heavy, A from Cobra to Righty in 060, maintain 3,000 hills, Bravo, localizer, cleared, ILSA, right approach. Yeah, we're definitely getting treated to some good views on this flight. One Tango Bravo, contact Miami Center, 135.17, have a great flight. 3517, 8-5-1 Tango Bravo, have a good day. Miami, mean, good morning, November 851 Tango Bravo, 8,800, climb to 16,000, direct head lead. 851 Tango Bravo, Miami Center, 4, the main time, Palm Beach, Altimeter, 3007. 07. Well, actually, going to 850 mode, flap lever goes up and over the gate. Now we can utilize our torque past 100%. We're basically just getting rid of that governor. Just got to be careful because now we could over torque the engine if you're not careful. So yeah, today up here at Space Coast, Titusville, where we're going to land, we got Cape Canaveral and they're going to launch an Atlas rocket, which is going to bring a rover and like a little helicopter drone type of device up to Mars. It's going to take them six months from the launch today for that to arrive to Mars. So it's going to be pretty exciting to see this. The weather is showing very good conditions for a launch. And there's also the TFR in red, which is active now for this uh, rocket launch. We'll be going into Titusville right next to it. 1,000 to go. 15,000. Going to 16,000. Allegiance 1521 to men up to maintain flight level 300. And 100 feet to go, the airplane's now leveling out. I'm pushing on the left trim here on the rudder to keep us in coordinated flight. So we're going to let the airplane build up as much speed as it's going to get here. And then we'll pull the prop RPM back to 1900 for a cruise power setting. It's just a little bit quieter, ambient sound in the cabin here, I like. So it looks like we're going to peak out just a little over 190 knots at 16,000 feet. So I'm going to pull the blue lever back here. And you'll just, I don't know if you guys can hear it in the, with the cameras, but it's just going to get a little bit quieter. There we go, cruise power is set. And you'll see here on the iPad, KTIX ATIS 20.62. Put that in, and we'll monitor that as soon as we get within range. We should be in range now. Space Coast Regional Airport, automated weather observation, one, zero, one, three, Zulu, weather, wind, one, eight, zero, at four, visibility, one, zero, clear, below, one, two, thousand, temperature, missing, dew point, missing, altimeter, three, zero, zero, eight, remarks, density, altitude, missing. So, Space Coast, is also a towered airport, but we are also going to be getting into that airport before the tower opens, so we're going to be treating that as an uncontrolled airfield. The winds are light out of the south, and what's nice is we've got a north-south runway, so we'll just uh, go in for runway 18. Over May 5, 110 Bravo, descend maintain 15,000, 15,000. Descend maintain 15,000, 110 Bravo. 15,000 set up an altitude pre selector and we'll VS that down 1,500 feet a minute. Just over the heavily intersection now. So, yeah, it feels good to get back up and stretch the legs on the airplane a little bit here. The last couple flights were just very local flights transitioning to and from its annual maintenance inspection. Nice smooth air. That's the really a good thing. Hope you guys are all comfortable over there with your in-flight snacks and beverages. They usually don't fly this early in the morning. I got up at 3.45 to get to the airport, the pre-flight. By the time uh, we got up in the air at 6 a.m. But yeah, it was an early morning. But I think it'll be worth it getting up early if we uh, actually get to see this rocket blast off. Over one Tango Bravo, contact Miami Center 132.25. Good morning. 3225, one Tango Bravo, have a good day. Evo. Hello. Hi, good morning. TBM 851 Tango Bravo, 15,000. 851 Tango Bravo, Miami Center, the verb is just put it to reserve right. So with this Atlas rocket, when it lifts off, it's going to produce 2.3 million pounds of thrust. That is a 
pretty crazy if you think about it. And they say it'll take around six months for to get to Mars. Right now, currently, Mars and Earth are very close in the orbiting system. And uh, they've got two words that they describe it as, but right now they're very close in the orbit, so it won't take that long to get to there. But other times of the year, they, they can be very far away in orbit. So the arrival we're on is the Goofy arrival. That's what they call it. And it's because, you know, Disney World, uh, you know, you got the Walt Disney character, so that's what we're on, the Goofy Arrival. Taking a look down, just to monitor all our gauges, you'll see the well, temperature and the pressure are all where they would normally be sitting. Our NG's right around 95. And we got our ITT right at 722. Prop RPM at 1900. Our torque is just under 100%. We could actually add a little bit more power in if we wanted to. So being down here at 15,000 feet on this flight, we're going to be torque limited. We'll put the torque rate up around 115%. Ray 51 single Bravo cross band at 7,000. The Orlando altimeter 3007. 07, we'll cross band at 7,000. 51 single Bravo. 7,000 set. Yeah, 1320 leaving 350. And we'll put a VNAV in. 7,000. Zero miles. At Barron. And we'll start down in one minute and 36 seconds. And there's our message light blinking. That's telling us we are approaching our VNAV profile. So we'll arm 7,000. And we will VS 1,500 feet a minute down. And we can now adjust our pressurization for landing. This airplane is a 2006 model, so it doesn't have all the bells and whistles of everything automatically being done for you. You still actually have to push a few buttons and turn a few knobs. And we got a little bit of a tailwind now, so we're doing about 290 knots right now across the ground. As we are now descending, this is where if you had the torque right up there as high as you wanted to put it, you have to be careful because as we descend, that torque is going to climb. So if you were just daydreaming, you could over-torque the engine. So once we land, the FBO is not even going to be open either, but I called and told them. They told me approximately where I should park the plane and there's a gate. I'm going to ride my booster board, which is my electric longboard. We'll take that over to a park by the uh, intercoastal area, water area there, and hopefully get a decent view of the rocket launch. So that's the game plan. And as you can see out the front, it is a perfect day in what I would think to launch a rocket. Number one Tango Bravo contact Orlando approach, 124.8. 124.8, 851 Tango Bravo, good day. Good morning, November 851 Tango Bravo, 9,100 to sink to 7,000. 851 Tango Bravo Orlando approach, Roger. And uh, no traffic or landing or all information available for Space Coast Airport advising of the airport in sight, Orlando altimeter 3008. It will advise when we get the airport in sight, 851 Tango Bravo. Orlando 0823, Victor Kilo. 1,000 to go, 8,000 to send to 7,000. So the airport is going to be over there at 1, 2 o'clock. We're just at Barron here in 1.5 miles, and we're leveling out right at 7,000 feet, so we made the crossing restriction. We'll start monitoring the frequency over there. And there's 34 Julie Kilo Squawk 0715. In case somebody else is uh, flying around. 851 Tango Bravo, turn right heading at 050. 050, one Tango Bravo. 050, set with their heading bug. And there's 34 Julie Kilo, just want to go into heading mode. Open lock is the uh, destination. And we're going to slow it up under 200 knots. And we'll put our inertial separator back on as we know we're going to be starting to descend in here soon. And since we're now in heading assignments, we will go highlight Titusville. We'll go direct to enter, enter. Currently 32 miles away. Now that we're under 200 knots, that's the limitation to turn on the inertial separator. Flip the switch down here by my left knee. In about 30 seconds or so, you'll see the master caution light come on along with the light. Departure, contact, climate chain 16, I just heard uh, something about a vehicle going to be on the runway at 36. Maintain 3,000. Maintain 3,000, one Tango Bravo. 
3,000 set up in an altitude pre-selector, VS 1,500 feet of man down. It sounds like they're testing the lights. Uh, there's a vehicle on the runway, and I hear them. There's our uh, key in the mic, so I think they're testing the lights. So that's our inertial separator, just came back on. Let's make an announcement over there at Space Coast, just to let them know where we're at. Space Coast traffic. In TBM, we're currently 29 to the southwest, we're inbound. Space Coast traffic. Oh, now, it's been a beautiful down. flight. Looks like the sun is just about to start to peek over the clouds out there over the Atlantic Ocean. One Tango Bravo, change my frequency 132.65. And yeah, D51 Tango Bravo is up on 3265. If you look down here, there really is not a lot of room to do left traffic for 18 with that TFR. We have to keep it in pretty tight. 1,000 to go. Still trying to get that airport in sight. I've only been to this airport one time in the, all of my flying. But just, just told me, caution, upcoming TFR ahead. 20 miles away. Do you guys have it in sight out there? A little bit at our like 11 o'clock. Oh, I believe I have it in sight now. Oh, well, not at 3,000. I'm going to maintain 2,000. I'm going to maintain 2,000. Eight five one ten bro. One six thousand. Base coast traffic. TVM seventeen miles southwest. Gonna be uh, left traffic for one eight. Space coast traffic. One ten bro. Just want to verify you do have the uh, automated weather at space coast. Eight five one. We got the automated weather for at space coast. Eight five one ten bro. Eight five one ten bro. Just to maintain one thousand five hundred. Advise me of the airport in sight. Eleven o'clock and one two miles. And one thousand five hundred. We'll advise eight five one ten bro. There we go, we got our in sight. And Orlando 851 Tango Bravo, we got Space Coast in sight. 851 Tango Bravo, roger. Clear for the visual approach to roll, oh sorry, clear to the visual approach uh, for Space Coast Airport. Roger, clear for the visual at uh, Space Coast 851 Tango Bravo. Roll a little bit to the left here. 142 Orlando approach. We do have somebody on our task straight out in front of us. 700 feet below us. He's over there now to our right a little bit more. We're going to pull the airplane back out of 850 mode. There we go, flap lever back to the up position. One Tango Bravo, a report cancellation by far in the air on this frequency, or on the ground with St. Petersburg Flight Service Station within five minutes of landing. Change the visor frequency is approved. Roger, we'll cancel the IFR now with you, 851 Tango Bravo. 851 Tango Bravo, thank you. IFR cancellation received. No traffic to picture between you and the airport. Race of terminates, small VFR, frequency change approved. Roger, squawking VFR, frequency change approved. Thanks for your help, one Tango Bravo. American 2894. All right, we'll get rid of him. Space Coast, TBM, we're seven miles to the south. Going to be left downwind for 1-8, Space Coast traffic. I don't hear anybody else in the pattern. Sounds like we got the airport all to ourselves. We just got to be very careful we don't go too far to the east and get in that TFR. That would make our day a lot more difficult. We'd be getting yelled at. Take the autopilot off. And we'll have a little fun hand flying in it. And we'll put our pulsating light in the lights on. And we'll put our prop back to 2000. Oh yeah, you can see all, I think I can actually see the rocket right over there on the launch pad. That's pretty cool. Four flights cautioning me, coming TFR. We got that in sight, should be no factor. We're going to pull the power back and get this airplane configured because we're going to do a short approach for the most part. Actually, we still have some room to play with over here to the right. We're within our first notch of flap speed. Look out there at the wing out there. Flap selected. And we'll also make sure it indicates. And indicating. Beautiful view. See all the different launch pads you're gonna see over there. We're we coming up on a midfield left down one here. I'll announce that. It'll be our next announcement. I don't see anybody on the runway anymore, so the truck is vacated. You guys keep a good eye out there on uh, the right wing. Tell me if you can see the rocket. Space Coast traffic, TBM, left midfield, downwind for 1-8. Space Coast traffic. Take a look right there. See, that's really we are. We're pretty close to that TFR, but we're clear of it. And we'll put the gear down. You're selected.
and indicating. And we'll start turning our left base. Base coast traffic, TBM, turn left base for 1-8. Space coast traffic. Nice and smooth, I'll tell you that much. I love flying on when the weather is like this. Let's keep eye out for birds. Base coast traffic, TBM, turning a two mile final. 1-8. 500. We're only 1-8, space coast traffic. Got interrupted by our 500 foot to the ground call up. Right, we overshot the final a little bit. That's because we were keeping pretty close tight pattern there because of the TFR. We'll just adjust and there'll be no issue. All right, we're all lined up. FBO is gonna be over there to the right, halfway down the runway. Looking good. Space Coast traffic, TBM short final run at 1-8, Space Coast traffic. Runway lights look good, so they were testing those and they're all on and they're looking good. All right, so we're looking perfect on our airspeed. We're going to just start to ease the power back. Light idle. Go down here into the flare. And there we go. A little bit harder of a landing than I actually would have wanted, but it was, you know, not that bad. And we're just going to go back into beta range here with the throttle. And we'll get off at Echo. Welcome to Space Coast, Titusville, Florida. Just time. 